everyone. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you, Online Trader Central, for having me. And welcome. I'm going to talk tonight about one strategy that you can use to easily make $1,000 a day or more, depending on how much you risk. And we're going to talk about that this evening. So my name is Melissa Armo. I own a company called The Stock Swoosh, and I've been day trading for eight years. It's going to be more than eight years uh, soon, and it's really interesting because I can't imagine my life now without the market. And talking about the market, the market had a huge sell-off today, and, and yet I think it still is higher and still holds. So when you decide that you want to do this thing, if you really, really want to trade, whether you want to day trade, swing trade, or do options, any of these things that you can use with my method, you have to decide that you want to do this in a way that is serious and be disciplined and learn it. So I took it upon myself back in 2008 to decide to day trade, and I've never looked back. So if you want more information, you can feel free to reach out to me or my assistant. His name is Paul at StockSwish.com. And you can email me at melissathestockswish.com, and you can also follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or any one of these pages. I do day trade daily. We are doing a open house. Paul can put the information in the room or Kathy for Thursday and Friday. If you want to come and take my trades and take my calls, I trade live in the room every morning beginning at 8.30 Eastern time. So you can come and you can watch me or take the trades with me live this week. So let's talk about what I do. As I was saying before, I day trade. One of the things that I do that makes me successful is I have a focus. If you want to make any amount of money, whether it's $1 or $1,000 a day, you have to have a focus that allows you to be consistent. Now, what's the difference between making $1 or $1,000? Your share size. So when you take a trade, you can take one share, you can take 100 shares, you can take 1,000 shares. It has to do with the amount of the shares you take, which we're going to talk about in some trades. But the bottom line is that this is something that is doable because it has to do with the size, okay, as far as the money that you take, but you have to be right. You have to be right in the trade. If you were going to do this with, I don't even care if you want to do it part-time, but particularly if you want to do it full-time, you really have to think about what you're doing. It has to be a thoughtful process. And so that's what I do. That's what I do every day. It's defined. What I do as far as my day trading methods is I look in the morning. This is even before the market opens. Before 930, I decide what are my targets? What is my resistance? What is my support? And again, it depends if I'm going long or short. And that's how I look at each stock. And again, I trade the U.S. market. You can use my method for trading stocks or ETFs, but I prefer to trade stocks that are companies because people have more emotional investments in companies than they do in just ETFs. But the principal idea of what you're doing when you're day trading is to get a quick move to get in and get out, whatever the move is, whether it's $500, $1,000, $2,000. Your goal every day is to make at least $1,000, but some days you'll make more than that. Some days you may do nothing, and we'll talk about that tonight as well. I train a method based on gas, which we'll talk about, but I'm really looking to get in the stock by 10 o'clock. If I'm not in a trade, in a position by 10 o'clock Eastern time that, I'm, that I don't like it, then I'm not going to take it, that I won't do the trade. That's because I'm looking for a move, a fast move into the open, which the open of the U.S. stock market is 930. So I'm looking for the open between 930 and 10. So I've got 30 minutes for the stock to set up per my system, okay? And, and then I'm looking to get in, I'm looking to get out. Like today, the trade went very, very quickly. You could have made another 10 cents on the trade I did today, but it's neither here nor there. It's the idea of getting in and getting out quickly. I call it chunking it out. When you're a day trader, okay, you need to be flat before 4 o'clock Eastern time. That's how you get the leverage with the broker. And if you have questions about that, you can ask me too, because sometimes people don't understand what I'm talking about. But the idea is that you've got to be flat by 4. So you are chunking it out. $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, whatever it is. And again, some days you'll make more, some days you do nothing. I will, I will tell you that the slowest days of the week are Mondays. And I've recently decided that I just don't want to trade Mondays anymore. Mondays are so slow for me that I've chosen not to trade. But the rest of the week can have just massive volatility and moves. There was huge volatility in the market today. It's kind of exciting because the market has been basing, basing, basing for about two weeks. 
And then all of a sudden, it had a hard sell-off, but it still held bullishly. And if we have time tonight, I'll bring up the chart of the slide of the QQQs. But the point is that day trading, you got to get flat by four. So you have to know, what am I looking for? What am I doing? Where am I trying to take the trade? You're not trying to get out if you're short at the bottom. And you're not trying to get out at the top if you're long. Because you have a fixed time frame. You're not an investor as a day trader. You are going in, you're taking the money, and you're pulling it out. That's it. And that's how you have to look at it. And this is where the seriousness comes from. And again, I work from home. Actually, this is me right now. This is me sitting at my desk. I don't have that outfit on, but I train, I teach, I do everything I do in my apartment. So it's one of the nice things about day trading is you can work from home. You do need a internet connection. You do need a computer. I have two screens, two flat monitor screens here, but you can trade on a laptop. Uh, you could, you'd only need one screen. Some people have very advanced setups, but I find two screens are good for me. But either way, the nice thing about day trading is you can do it from home. And you're your own boss, and you don't have to report to someone. I kind of feel some days of the market is my boss because it tells me what to do or it tells me what not to do, actually. But trading is something that can offer you a career if you really want to do it. And feel free to write questions in the room if you're, if you're listening, if you're new, if you have never heard me speak before. But what I think the one thing I want to convey to people is that, you know, if you want to decide to day train, you have to look at it as you have to be responsible for the choices that you make. When you're up money, take it out, okay? It's never over to the fat lady thing. You want to book your profit. This is not about investing for the long term for the next five to ten years of your life. You can train like that, but it's a different type of method that you will look for different targets and different risks. Day trading is something where you're doing this almost for a job. Even if you do it part-time, even if you're only trading for 30 minutes a day or one hour a day, you still have to take it as serious as you would if you signed in and clocked in at a job. You have to take it that serious. If you don't, you won't make any money at all. You'll either be break-even or you'll be losing. So many people do not take trading, day trading I'm talking about right now because that's the topic for tonight. So many people do not take it serious enough. If you have in your mind 2,000 shares and 50 cents is $1,000, 1,000 shares and $1 move is $1,000. If you have a goal in your head every day with what you're trying to do and you know the move you're trying to get, whether it's long or short, and you're that focused, Okay, not all over the place. You actually can do this, and you actually can make money, and you actually can be successful. I only trade one strategy. That's all that I do. So I'm so focused that I'm only looking for one thing, and usually I will tell you that I prefer to short. And today was a great example because when stocks want to fall, and the market fell today, the market was almost in like a free fall today. It found a level and it held, but when stocks are in uh, are trading down, okay, panic happens in a stock. And it's almost like they're in like a free fall where they could fall until until the close, until four o'clock. So one of the nice things I like about what I do is that the moves to the downside happen quickly. That's not to say that I never go long. Some days I do go long, but I only go long when I don't find a short. Okay. So I'm extremely focused. This is the reason for my success. I trade one strategy. I've been doing it for eight years. And, and you can learn to do this from me. And you don't have to have a lot of experience. You don't have to have any experience. I think people, you know, are trying to be all over the board with what they're doing. Uh, and I talked about this a couple of nights ago in a webinar. A broad-based knowledge of the market sometimes helps some people, but sometimes it works against people because they want to overanalyze and overthink what they're doing. It's only about the focus because you only need one trade a day to make money. So actually, this I did this trade. This was two weeks ago now, come this Friday. I was in an option in BABA. I took it the day that I took it. The stock gapped up on the earnings. I did a call on it. This is an option. This is not a day trade. It's an option trade. I do this with my method as well. Within 24 hours, I was up over $8,000. That is phenomenal. That's a lot of money for anyone. I don't care. I don't care where you live. I don't care who you are. And I live in Manhattan. And that's a lot of money. So the point is, can you make money doing this using my strategy? The answer is yes. How much does it take? It has to do with the amount of money that you risk. Uh, here's the chart. Uh, Paul put this in here. I don't. This doesn't have today's updated chart. But if we have time tonight, we can actually talk about this. But again, go to my YouTube. 
subscribe to my YouTube. I put trades that I'm in or trades that I call, and I do updates on YouTube. So I suggest you go there. So getting back to what I was saying, big moves happen in stocks. Big moves happen in the market. Today was a great example because the market fell. Cree was another nice example that happened just last week where the stock, again, sold off in a free fall. These are the types of moves that if you look to short and can find them, you can make money. So you're trying to find just one symbol. It could be Cree, it could be Baba, it could be Twitter, it could be anything that you choose to find in the market. You can find it on a scanner or you can find it on yahoofinance.com. You can find it on www.nasdaq.com. You can find what stocks are reporting have earnings anywhere. In fact, I think I think HPQ, I looked at it like a, an hour and a half ago, was gapping down tonight. HPQ, here, I'll write in the room. Um, this is a big name. It's a big name. Oh, I don't know why they did that. Look, it's a big name. I, I, I don't know where it's at right now, but when I looked at it like after four, it was it was down. It was down a lot. So someone can write in the room, but that's a great example of something you would have as a watch for tomorrow. So if you use my system, you would look for stocks that are gapping. They could have earnings. They could have news. There's lots of reasons sometimes. Financial reports are very powerful, though, but sometimes you have big news in a stock and then it gaps. Oh, so here's the daily chart of BABA. Paul just had this in here. You see the stock had a gap up. This was in the earnings, gapped up, and had a huge move. And this is the day it had the huge, huge move if you wanted to do it as a day trade or an option. Here it is again. So if you wanted to do this as a day trade or a swing trade or a core trade, you could have done all of the following of that. And one of the nice things about what I do is we're talking about making $1,000 a day. You could have done three different things in this stock. You could have day traded it, made money. You could have done an option, made money. You could have done a swing trade, made money. Three different ways, same strategy. You could have made money in the stock, but you have to get the direction right, and you have to get the pick. If you were doing this as a short, you wouldn't have made any money. You wouldn't have made eight grand. You have to know this is a long, number one, and number two, you have to know to watch the stock symbol, which in this case here was Baba. So here's the one minute, uh, five minute chart. That was the one minute chart previously. This is the base, 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 and the rally up. This is the day after the original gap. It had a second gap up on the second day. So if you wanted, to, we're just going to talk about J trades here. That $8,200 was a profit. If you wanted to get out of it today after the earnings, it's an option. But I'm just going to show you here. And again, this is a little pricey. So you might have done an option. You might have done the day trade. Price the entry, 94.75. This is a day trade. Stop, 94.30. What does this mean? That means your risk is 45 cents, okay? So many people ask me this, how do I make $1,000 a day, okay? The minimum requirement that you would need to make that would be a minimum between three and $500. And I'm giving a cushion there because some trades go really big and some don't go as far to the bigger target. But I would say at least three to 500 to make 1000 bucks. okay? Now, I've been trading for eight years, so I risk more than that, but I'm giving you an idea here. If you really want to have as your monetary goal risking $1,000 a day, you need to risk between three and $500 a trade. Now, the examples I'm using in here is what I would normally risk myself for trades I did. 1,125 with 1,500 shares, exit 98 bucks. So you see here, you could have made over four grand, almost $5,000 in one trade. So a lot of people come to me and say, Melissa, you know, how much money am I going to make? How much money am I going to make every day? How much money am I going to make every week? What will I make per month? What, how much, when will it take me? How long will it take me to make back the price of your class? Which I didn't talk about. We'll talk about it at the end. But the price of my class is actually $4,999. You can make it back in one trade. If you're willing to risk a thousand bucks, you can make double that if you're willing to risk more. I don't know what you can afford, but what I say to people, and I'm trying to be realistic and normal, okay, normal is a, you know, is a world that many people don't use in trading, is that I want you to understand that the most important thing is predicting that Baba would even be along to even take the trade in the first place. That's all that counts. 
Whether you risk $100, $1, $500, $1,000, $3,000, if you don't, if you can't predict that BABA is along, that the price will move higher and have a move like this, which is humongous, once the dream target is a day trade, by the way, then how are you, how are you ever going to make any money at all in the stock market? You can't, you won't. You will think of it as gambling if you don't have a very specific strategy that tells you, do it, okay? And that doesn't mean that every trade is right. You will have some losers. That's why I use stock. Not here. That's why I use hard stops. That's what a stop is. It means you put in the stop. And then the trade fails, then you're stopped out. But the point is that you have a system that has high odds of predicting that this is a long. It will have a big move. It should go. It should go today. It should go today based on what? Based on the gap. Okay, because this is the method that I trade, and we're going to talk about this more in a minute. But does anyone have any questions about what I'm saying? Oh, here, Paul put in the one minute again. All right, getting back to what I'm saying about the share size. You know, you have to get to the point where you learn it, you do it, you risk small size, you small, medium, large. You step it up. You prove yourself that you can do it. You prove to yourself you understand the system. You prove to yourself you can get the right picks every day with me in the room, okay? And then you take the trade. And then you times that number and put a couple zeros after it, and that's how it gets the money. You have to prove that you can be consistent. And this has nothing to do with whether you're brand new or been training for a while. But I'll tell you, people have been training for a long, 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 long time really are the ones that have the biggest problems with having to prove that they can be consistent. People that are new, just learn it and do it, okay? So... If you break it down, again, you chunk it out, you're getting to the point where you're saying, if the stock moves a dollar, I have a thousand shares, I can make a thousand dollars. If the stock moves 50 cents with 2,000 shares, I can make a thousand dollars. If the stock moves 25 cents with 4,000 shares, it moves a thousand dollars. This is actually, but 25 cents is a small move, unless the stock is cheap for me. Okay. And my average share size could be anywhere between three and 6,000. It depends on the stock, okay? But there are many days where you see stocks to move way more than a dollar, but you don't know. You don't know that you get up in the morning, you look for the stock and you're doing it. Here's an example of Cree. Again, this is, this is one of the best price points of stocks that I've found. And I always say this to people between $10 and maybe $30, $35 price point. You can get these just massive moves. This stock moved almost 10% of the price of the stock on the day in the gap, into the move, into the live day within 15 minutes. And I don't base anything on percentages for those of you that are going to ask, but it's something that is notable. It's something that you can look at and say, ooh, you know, that really sold off. Just kind of like the market today, what we were talking about earlier, the market had a, a big, big sell-off for the live day of the market. Does anyone have any questions? I kind of feel like I'm talking, talking. Does anyone have questions before I keep going? Now, if you don't know what I do, if you're brand new to trading or if you've never heard me spoke before, I actually trade gaps. So that's all that I do. Whether I'm doing a gap up or whether I'm doing a gap down, whether I'm doing an option, whether I'm doing a swing trade, whether I'm doing a day trade, it's all based on gaps. You can look at this later. These are all the gap option calls I've called for the last two months. One of them failed, okay? One of them was Facebook. The rest of them worked, okay? So you can go through and look at these. These were all longs, so you would buy a call to see how you took the trade and went up. Here's Baba, took the trade and went straight up. Urban, took the trade and went straight up. <laughs> Amazon, took the trade and went straight up. Google, Google took the trade, it went straight up. Apple took the trade, it went straight up. And this is the one that didn't work. Facebook, this isn't a current chart from today, but Facebook sideline. It went up and then it pulled back and it's been basing, basing, basing. Although I will tell you the stock is still higher. So Facebook didn't work, okay? But, you know, this is just, you, you, you have to know what to look for. To even get six out of seven trades, and I'm just talking about the option trades now, although I'm going to show you some, some examples of the day trades this week, it's about getting the right pick. It's about getting the correct direction.
action. It's about getting the right one to the gap. You will never make money as, as doing anything, investor, trader, swing trader, anything at all, if you don't get the direction right. People that are short this market may be excited today. They might think, with the sell-off today, is the market slower? But guess what? It's not. It's not. It's not lower. The market had a hard sell-off today and a support. That's it. And probably gets up and gets bought tomorrow. So, so many people don't understand what the right thing is to look for. Now, what do I do? I'm looking for stocks that gap. What is a gap? Cre closed here the night before. This is 4 o'clock Eastern time. Gap down. So a gap is the difference between the close at 4 o'clock and the 9.30 open. That's all that a gap is. The U.S. market has the close and has it open. But in the after hours, it's called the actual stock, pre or the market, whatever, lots of things, may, may trade. They may move. Uh, people may do trades. They may create a gap down or they may create a gap up or they may not have any trades go off. There's an after hours and a pre-market in the U.S. market. And as a result of that, you have gaps. Okay. If there wasn't such a thing, I couldn't even do what I do. Now, here, let's look at the CRE. CRE sold off immediately. This is a one-minute chart. It's a day trade. Stock sold off, rallied. You could have shorted this here. Boom. Here's the sell-off. Again, stock was in free fall. This is how you're making money. You see beforehand the gap in CRE. I have a, a, a checklist. That's all that I do every morning. I look at the checklist and I say, is Cree going to be a short? Is Cree going to be a long? Do I not do want to do anything with Cree? I say, yes, Cree is actually going to be a short. I figure it out before the open, before 930 in the pre-market, or you can figure it out tonight, like right now tonight. I could, when I'm done, rate HPQ. I'm probably not going to. I'll wait till the morning, but you could. Okay. And in that time, you were looking to see what it's going to do. And you're predicting whether or not you should be shorting the stock tomorrow or buying it. So this was a nice, nice sell-off. If you did a trade decree, okay, you could have risked a thousand dollars. Remember, you have to risk between three hundred, four hundred, five hundred to get at least a thousand dollars a day. Share size nine thousand. That's a that's a big share size. But the stock had lots of volume. Okay, this is not the low. 2350 was one of the targets. You could have made $9,720 on the day. So you, you could have made just a crazy amount of money. I, I, you know, honestly, when I go back and look and see some of the things that I look at in the morning, and I only usually do one trade a day. That's just my preference. I run the live trading room. I only like to do one thing. And like I'm telling you, I like the short. But I will look at the longs and I will look at shorts and I will look at several different gaps. When I go back and look at all the things that I look at and see some of the things that move that I may rate and may rate well, but I don't do because I'm doing something else. It's unbelievable to me. If you have the ability to take several trades, you can really go heavy at it. And, and again, I trade and talk and run the live room at the same time. But people that come to me, that learn from me, that are part of my chat room, you can do as many trades as I rate, as many as I call, as many gaps that happen that you see. There's no limit. You can do the bullish ones. You can do the bearish ones. You can do them all. Kathy's saying here about questions. Does anybody have any questions? How's everybody doing? Am I talking too fast? Let me know. Okay. Let's get back to Twitter. Another nice gas down. Stock closed here, gas down, fell, boom. Fell hard, drop. You could have done this as a swing trade. You could have done this as a day trade, okay? You could have shorted it here. You could have shorted it here. Here's the drop. Went to the target. Stock rally back, held the stop, the original stop, and fell later in the day. Actually went to the target at $19. This is rare because remember we're talking about, about the fact that I like to do the morning. The break happened in the morning. If you wanted to hold it to the target, which was 19, you would have had to hold it in the afternoon. But the move happened. It absolutely happened. Okay? So you have to go and you have to look and you have to say, what is it I want to do? A lot of people, when I talk to them, and I, and I, I mentor people, I do run mentoring sessions for some of the students, they, they say to me, Melissa, you know, what is it I'm supposed to be focusing on every morning. What are, you know, people go over with me, what are their uh, problem areas? 
And when I talk to people that are new to trading or new to the class and they're trying to go over stuff with me and they ask me questions, they want certainty. Every person wants guarantees and they want certainty. There is no guarantee for anything in the market. When you understand the market, you will understand that people get faked out. The fake out happens in the gray. Okay? When you are willing to see that the market is not black and white and look at it for what it is, you will be successful. Today is a great example. Okay? Today is an amazing example, actually. You, if you were in the market today long, which is the only way to be in the market, actually, you are in this space where you're gray. You're like, wait a minute. I don't see it higher right now. The market's in free fall. I don't, what's, what's happening here, but you have to have your eye on the bullseye, which is that, you know, the market isn't an uptrend. It's set to make a brand new all-time high yet again. Okay. And you keep your eye on the bullseye. Many people panic, 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 panic. The panic and the motions that come into people is what creates the free fall of a sell-off. But then right away, the market turns around or stock turns around and then people feel tricked. They feel bamboozled. They feel like they got whatever, okay? But it's not that. It's just the fact that people are unwilling to live in the gray and focus on what they know and keep their eye on the bullseye, which is making money, by the way, and nothing else. Does anyone have any questions? If we have time, we'll look at the market tonight, and we'll look at HPQ. But let's click at Target. This is another nice gap down. Stock post here, gap down, fell. You could have done this as a day trade. It was better as a second day down. Stock, you could have shorted here and dropped. Another one that had a beautiful follow through. In fact, I should have looked at what this did today. But if your goal is to make $1,000 a day, you could have made it in target in what? Less than 15 minutes. Shorted it, 2,000 shares, dropped, boom, up 1,000 bucks. This is one that did, did go to a target but did not go to some huge big number. But the idea is that you're in and you're out. You're chunking it out. You're chunking it out. You have your goal and you're out. If your goal is to make $1,000 a day, when you're up $1,000, you don't let it go back against yourself $1,000. Does that make sense? And here was a nice testimonial actually from Galahad. He is here, I think, this evening. You, you can use my method for swing trades, option trades, day trades, anything. Anything that you want to do. So if you don't have the time to trade live in the morning between 8.30, you know, and 10 o'clock, or at least 9, 10, 10 o'clock, okay, when I'm in the room and reviewing everything, you can do option trades. I think, though, that you'll get the most bang for your buck by doing the day trades and trading in the room in the morning. So I teach a class. My class is called the Golden Gap Course, and it is it's a checklist. It is a focused checklist that tells you what stock will have a move to the downside or upside on the day based on the gap? It is a high probability of directional bias for the entire day when you rate it. The 26 points does not have to be a perfect score, but it has to be 20 or more. You're looking for a big move of the day. You're looking for early confirmation. Again, I'm not in the train if it sets up after 10. 9.30 and 10 is the time of the day for me. And I am looking for precise entries of follow through, and not only that, a good risk reward potential for something to go. Oh, here was a long. This was one actually that Paul called. Uh, Paul did a beautiful, beautiful bullish gap that happened here back. This was last week, actually, this was this week. So the stock closed here, gapped up. You see the rally? So if you know that Ross is a long, you'll go long it, okay? As a day trade, if you did, you made money. You could have made $2 plus. Here's a one-minute chart. See the entry right in here? Boom. You took the trade, and you were never down any money at all. How can you predict this based on the gap? I will tell you that not all bullish gaps are higher. Not all bearish gaps are lower. There's so many stocks that gap every day. A lot of times, some people think that stocks are going to fill gaps and fall like this one. But people thought that about the BABA, but that's not true. Gaps are a very specific way of looking at a chart and looking at a stock. And if you don't get it right, you can, you can lose. Okay. 
because there's so much momentum and so much volatility that come into stocks, and particularly in gas. Does anyone have any questions about, about anything as I'm talking here? All right, I'm going to go over Rost. This was one, again, aggressive long boom. Right into the open, you could have taken 2,000 shares. Risk was 1,000 bucks. Rallied up. Boom. Out. Total property could have made $2,800. Okay? Do you see here how you can put together a day, a week, a month of trading, trading stocks? You're just looking for something different every day. That's all that you're looking for. You want to find a stock that's gapping. It could be a short. It could be a long. But you have to be able to predict the direction. Okay? Here was another bullish one. This was not today. This was the other day. This is BR, BMRN. Stock closed here, gapped up. The blue line here is the 20 pair moving average. Okay? Stock gapped up on it. Dropped, broke, fell, rally. Had the follow through the previous day. Okay? Nice move in here. This is Paul's tree, he called it. Here was an entry. You're still looking for the move to happen immediately. So, again, this is a, a five-minute chart in here, but you're looking for it to happen quick. You want it to happen quick, quick, quick. You had the rally into the open here at the big green bar, top down here, came in, pulled back, boom, you can take it. And then you see where it went. And here's the move. So if you went long the stock on the day, you made money. If you shorted the stock on the day, you lost. So how do you know what to do? You know what to do because of the gap. Because this thing here is happening. It's either happening after 4 o'clock at night or it's happening before 4.30. So the stock closed here and gapped up. Closed here at 92 something, gapped up to 96 something. See it? So it's just the idea that you are looking every single solitary day. You find a trade to take that will move. It has momentum. You never make a thousand dollars a day, fifteen hundred dollars a day, four grand in a trade, or, or let alone eight thousand, unless you had momentum. Okay, no matter no matter what size you take. I'm not trading penny stocks. I'm trading real movers in the market. They have volume. They have moves on the day. This is how you can make money as one individual. I don't think you can make money as a day trader if you don't trade stocks that actually move. So I'm looking for stuff that moves. Part of the reason that my strategy works is because gaps have volatility. That volatility makes for big moves, like the BABA. I mean, you get a stock that rallies, you know, three, four dollars in the day, that's a lot. Okay. Anyone have any questions? We're gonna quickly go over this here, the BMRN, even though this was Paul. Price of the entry 9646, risk was a dollar or thereabouts. So you could have taken a thousand shares of this, risk risk a thousand twenty, boom. Exit, whole number, ninety-eight, money, profit, you took the trade, fifteen hundred bucks. Okay. And you're not in it until four o'clock. You're in it, boom, you're out. That's it. I really try so hard to be out of stocks in a few minutes. And every once in a while, I will be in something, and I might be in it until maybe 11 o'clock, 11, 15, 12. But it's, you know, I'm not in stocks until 4. Anyways, let's go over this one here. This was BBY. This was yesterday, another long. This is a nice trade I did here yesterday. Again, what are you looking for? You're looking for to see, to predict, is BBY, is BBY short or long? Stock closed here, and then a gap. I only do gap. Open, dropped, broke, rallied, I bought it. This was a nice long. Stock fell, boom. You could have bought it here, 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 or here. So nice move up. And you see that it just flows. This is the kind of thing you want to be able to take a trade and you want it to just go. I think one of the best things about trading with me is that you take the trade and usually when they work, they go right away. You're up immediately. As soon as you take it, as soon as you take it, as soon as you take it, you're up. Okay. So you don't have a lot of stress. That's the nice thing about trading. Actually, this is a two-minute chart. The, the entry was $38. Risk was $0.40. Cents. Share size, $2,500. Again, your risk should be the same. If you want to make $1,000 a day, you should be risking between three and 500 If you risk $1,000 in this trade, you could have made $3,000. That's a lot of money. It's almost the price of the class. Okay? 
very, very volatile, but you can make so much money, but you have to predict it. You have to know where it's going. I mean, here you see it. So it went to the target. It was 39. It went past the target. And today was a short. I'm just going to go over this quickly here before I answer the rest of the questions. The stock closed here, gap down, and I shorted it. ESPR was a short, and as I was saying, I love the short. Drops broke. You could have shorted it here, shorted it here. You could have taken more here. I did it here. Drops broke. Got out, went to the target. I didn't see the close on this today, but this is a beautiful short move. If you could have predicted ESPR was a short, you would have made money today. And that's exactly what I did. So price of the entry, 1235. Risk was, was actually big because I wanted to have the cushion for the stop, 50 cents. On 3,000 shares, you could have made what? 1,000 bucks. You're always looking to make $1,000 a day. Some days you'll make more. Some days you won't trade. Some days you will take a loss. But ultimately, if you're making two, three times the amount of risk on the quality trade, or, or something like the BAPA trade where you could have made 8000 You will more than pay for the days that you take off, that you don't trade, or sometimes when you lose. I don't usually trade more than one thing a day. Every once in a blue moon, I'll do two a day, but I prefer to focus on one a day. Now, let me see if I have any questions here. Let me go back. I kind of feel like I'm talking fast here, but... Uh, we have a lot to get through. The, the idea is for you to learn how to do this. So many people ask me, Melissa, how can how long does it take to make the cost back of the class? My class is $5,000. Uh, you know, I don't know how long it will take you to make it back. You could make it back in one trade or two trades in the last two days almost. It depends how much you risk, okay? If you're risking... $100 a trade, you will not make the back of the price of the class within one trade, okay? So you have to use some common sense. But I will tell you, if you do the class and you understand it and you learn my method, you will have the conviction and fortitude to go back after the class, right away the first week out of the class, and risk the $500 you need to in the trade to make the $1,000 a day. You get conviction from learning the information. You get conviction from me making the calls. Everyone in the room that did this call that I said, buy the stock this day was up a huge amount of money. That helps you, okay? It helps you get conviction. It helps you do it. It helps you take the risk. When you have someone that's a mentor or calling the trades like me in the room, it really, it really helps your confidence level. It, you know, I'm directing you. You learn the information in the class and you do it. So I teach a course, it's called the Golden Gap Course. It's a system that teaches a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning, and you will use a checklist. That's what I do. Every day I get up, I follow the checklist, okay? That's what I do. The strategy is all that I do, nothing else. It's the one focus. You don't have to do anything else. A broad-based knowledge of the market will not help you to make money. What helps you to make money? Getting in the right direction, getting a good entry, getting the right pick, and the momentum and volatility so you can profit. Any questions here before we finish up? Good group tonight. Kathy, put the information in the room for people. I have an open house. It's Thursday, Friday. If you want to come, you can come tomorrow morning at 830. We'll, we'll be looking for gas. Again, I'll be watching probably HBQ tomorrow. I don't know what it rains, but I will rain in the morning. And then I will look to take the trade between 9.30 and 10. If you are looking for something that can help you make money, extra money, or do this for a full-time career, and you can do it from home, day trading is something that you can look into. It's a possibility because the, the income potential is huge. It's just whether or not you are dedicated to doing it. So many people want to go out and they want a quick buck, and they're not focused on learning and they don't want to pay the price for the class, well, then then you're taking pot shots at stuff, and the chances of you making money are zero. Some trades work and some trades fail. The only way to be consistent with, with your money and your profit and your risk to do it, to do it at all, to make it worthwhile, whether full-time or for a job, is if you actually have 100% conviction that what you do will work. Okay, So I do, that's the reason I call the trades and I take the trades. So I just want to share this here. I had an email from a new student. He found me on YouTube. So many people find me from different things. But 
Anyways, he found me on YouTube and he said, I saw how emotional you got in the video when you started talking about how you were struggling at one point when you got to start with your trading. There is a video where I describe it. It was a, a video by a film production company last year. It's on my YouTube if you want to go there. And I talked about my past, okay? I can relate to many of you if you've been doing this for a while, okay? Because the fact is when I started out trading, I was losing. But I believed in myself and I stuck it through and I did it. And so this person here was, uh, you know, sent me a nice email and was inspired by the fact that I went through a hard time but made it. Know that if you're going through a hard time in your trading, if you persevere, you can make it. I always say this to people. If, if you quit, if you want a guarantee, I can tell you right now, if you quit, you will not make it. That's your guarantee for me. If you don't quit, you have a chance, okay? What's the difference between the people that make it and the people that don't, even the ones that keep going? It's not just the perseverance. It's the focus. It's the focus on one thing, and that one thing has to work, okay? That one thing has to work. It is not luck that I take a trade and a stock that gaps up overnight huge that is right on the day, on the day of the gap in the earnings, like Baba, is down on the day, I take the trade, I'm down in the clues, and then it runs up, and I make over eight grand in one day in that trade. That is not luck. That is skill. It is a skill-based system that I can teach you, that you can come and learn from me. You're learning a skill from me, and that's the reason you're paying me money for the class. I'm, I'm charging not just for my time. I'm charging for the information. You're going to learn a skill from me, a skill that, by the way, you can duplicate for the rest of your life, to day trade, swing trade, or do options. And that's what you come and learn from me. Whether or not you want to trade with me every day in the room, that's up to you, okay? But I teach you a skill. That's the important part of it. The information is skill. I'm not teaching you a bunch of nonsense that you can go out and you can talk and talk and talk with your friends or go into other trading rooms and say, well, this is important, this is resistance. I'm teaching you a skill, a skill-based method to learn how to read gas. It is very specialized. It is very specific, and, and it works. If you want to come, you'll see me do it tomorrow, Thursday and Friday. And the class is this weekend if you're interested in signing up. It's Saturday and Sunday, August 27th and 28th. This is the last class I'm doing for a while, okay? So if you want to learn, trade with me in the fall and actually learn with me before third quarter. No, fourth quarter. Jeez, fourth quarter earnings? Yeah, oh, my gosh. Can you believe it? No, it's fourth quarter earnings. They're going to be next. This year has just gotten away from me. Wow. This is the last class before fourth quarter earnings. That's crazy. I can't believe it. It's, look at this. It's almost Labor Day. Anyways, if you want to trade in the fall and in the end of the year, the next class is going to be for a while. It's Labor Day. It's my birthday. I got a lot of things going on. But email me if you want to sign up. Class is $49.99. Email me at Melissa at thestockswish.com. Email Paul. His information is in the room there if you want to get registered for the uh, open house. And I'm offering the Wealth Manifestation class for people, and we I will do this. I don't have the date for this yet, but I'm actually going to do this before before uh, the fall. Before the fall, earning season starts, before the busy season, before the holidays, I'm going to do this class. I don't have the date yet. It's going to be probably in September, but I'll get everybody the date, which will get this class free if you sign up for this class this weekend. All right, here's some testimonials. You can read them. Any questions, any thoughts, any, any anything? We do have time to quickly look at the market after hours or HPQ if you want, or we could, I could just answer questions, or what do you want to go over? I'm here for you. Kathy's typing. One of these days, I'll teach Kathy how to trade. <laughs> Quiet group tonight. It's only Wednesday. You people need to get take your vitamins. Is it late? <laughs> I never know if people are in the U.S. or if they're in uh in Europe. Um, or you could be, I guess, West Coast time. Listen, nice group here. Nice group of people. Email me at melissathestockswish.com. Go to my YouTube. Go. Sign up. Register for the open house. Go to YouTube. Subscribe. I've got plays of the days there. I've got everything. Okay? Thanks 
Thanks for having me, everyone.